Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to use a protractor to draw angles of different degrees. I'm going to model how to draw an acute angle and how to draw an obtuse angle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to model an acute angle. And as remember, an acute angle is anything between 1 and 89 degrees, because once we hit 90, we're at a right angle. So I'm going to model how to draw 60 degrees. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my protractor to create the bottom ray for my angle. So I just like to use the bottom of it like here, get a nice straight line. We're going to put an arrow at the end to show that it's a ray. And we're going to put a dot to show where the vertex is. Okay, and now I'm going to make sure that this part here, the vertex of my angle, lines up with my protractor here where the 90 and the 0 line meet. And the bottom ray lines up with my 0 line on my protractor. So I'm going to line it up nicely like that. Okay, and so you can see that my 90 and 0, where they intersect here on my protractor, it is where that nice big dot I drew for my ray was, and my 0 line here lines up with the bottom ray. Okay, and now we're going to look at the numbers. As we learned last week, there are two sets of numbers. There's an inside set of numbers on the protractor and an outside num set of numbers on our protractor. And we have to use some common sense and thought to figure out what set to, or which number to use. So we can see here, there's my first 60. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to put a dot here at that 60 degrees and I can see another 60 right here. So I'm going to put a dot here for that 60 degrees and now I'm going to use some common sense to decide which one to connect to my vertice of my angle. Okay, so I'm going to line up here okay, and ask myself, does that look like an acute angle? Does that look smaller than that 90 degree corner or does this one look like an acute angle, so it looks smaller than that 90. Hopefully you're saying, no, this one looks bigger than 90, because 90 would be somewhere around here. That would create an obtuse angle, which would not match our acute number. So we are going to use this one here. So I'm going to draw a line that connects that dot I made for my vertex with that dash I made at that first 60, and I connect them. I draw an arrow at the end. There's my completed angle, and then I'm going to draw myself a little semicircle, half circle there, and incur and record my measurement of 60 degrees. Okay, so that is how we draw an acute angle. Now I'm going to show you how to draw an obtuse angle. So I'm going to show you 125 degrees. Okay, so it starts the same. I'm going to use the bottom of my protractor to create the first ray in my angle. So I'm going to draw it right there nice and straight. Okay, I'm going to draw my arrow at the end and my dot here to show you that's a single ray. We're going to add a second ray to complete it as an angle. So same thing as with my protractor before. I'm going to make sure where that 90 and that 0 line meet right here at that point lines up here and the 0 line here lines up with the 0 line on the bottom. So I'm going to line it up like so. You can see the 90 degree part marked here. This is lined up and we're going to use the same thought process we use with the 60 degree angle. So I can see here's 120, here's 130. 125 is right in the middle so I'll draw a dot right there. Okay and here's the other 120, 130. It's right in the middle so I'm going to draw my other spot there. Okay and now we have to use that common sense that 125 degrees is bigger than 90 so it needs to be looking bigger than that 90 degrees. So if I connect this dot to my first dash, we have to ask ourselves, does that look obtuse? No, that isn't acute, so that is not the right line to use. So let's check our next one. This does look obtuse. It looks bigger than that 90 degrees. So we're going to connect our lines here. Or to make another ray, put our arrow at the end and do that little partial circle and label that as 125 degrees. And there you go, how to draw an acute and an obtuse angle with your protractor.